Hi, everyone. Uh, today, I wanted to take a look at the Tweakbox app. Uh, essentially, it's a third party app store for the iPhone. And the really cool part about it is you don't actually need any uh, jailbreaking or special unlocks or any kind of hacking to get it installed on your phone. Uh, one of the reasons why you might want to do it is uh, to get apps that do cool things that normally they wouldn't be able to. Uh, but before we get into kind of talking about you know, what those apps can do and that kind of stuff. Let's see if we can actually install this tweak box app and uh, go through that process together. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is just go into uh, Safari and go to tweakboxapp.com. All right. Uh, you're going to hit download and then you'll get a notification that says, Hey, you're uh, this website is trying to open settings to show you a configuration profile. Do you want to allow this? So we'll say allow. And then it, it'll have the Tweakbox app uh, profile and it'll say what it's doing, who the developer is. Uh, somehow they're still verified and haven't been shut down by Apple, which is uh, pretty shocking. Normally they would, you know, shutter their windows real quick, but somehow it's still in progress. But anyway, we're going to tap install. It's going to ask for your code. I'm going to blur that out. Can't have you guys knowing my code. All right, and once it's done, you pretty much just go to the home screen and you'll see it there. So it's the tweak box. Let's open it up and we'll do a quick browse through and see what's actually available there. Now, one thing, fair warning, if you don't uh, donate, uh, you will see a lot of ads. So I'm not interested in donating, but uh, just to give you an idea, you're gonna see a lot of ads. But if you do download stuff and you're kind of into this thing and you're supporting, some legitimate cause here. Uh, I guess it's a good idea to uh, kind of support these guys, but in any case, uh, let's go into the App Store and see what they got. Let's see what they got. So this is the App Store apps. Essentially what they're showing you here is like, hey, these are apps that you can get on Apple's App Store, but we have slight modifications to them. So like getting it over, uh, Cute Cut Pro, and Emoji Studio, Minecraft, Facetune, Monopoly, whatever, the list goes on and on. But let's, for example, take uh, getting over it. Let's see what the benefits are. Description, a game I made for a certain kind of person to hurt them. Climb up in an enormous mountain with nothing but a hammer and a pot. So I'm not sure if there's actually anything special about this version. They're just letting you download it through their app store. Um, it's a little weird. I'm gonna back out of this. I'm not interested in this section. Let's go back into apps and we wanna look at the tweak box apps. So these are apps that aren't, aren't available in the app store, but they do really cool things. So Airshow, it's essentially just kind of like a AirPlay or Air Server functionality for your iPhone and iPads. You can kind of broadcast your, your iPhones and Macs, iPhones and iPads to your Mac and that kind of thing. Uh, there was one on here that I kind of checked out that was uh, interesting. Uh, so like GBA for iOS, GC for iOS, and Gear Boy, they're basically just emulators of old school games. Nintendo's probably not too happy about those. Uh, IDOS is like an MS-DOS simulator. And then there's this one called iPlay TV. So they give you apps, uh, they give you, it's a basically an app that lets you watch uh, live television, like Fox, CBS, uh, TBS, all those channels. Uh, iTransmission, so you know, doing torrenting. And then also an interesting option is to actually jailbreak with Pangu, so you can actually do a jailbreak from this app that doesn't require a jailbreak. Odd. But anyway, I'm just more than anything up, like surprised that these guys have lasted so long. Cody has been around for a while. So, you know, whatever the case may be, there are a lot of, you know, apps in here. So, for example, we have tweaked apps. Uh, so, uh, YouTube, for example, they no longer allow you to save uh, videos. They don't let you listen to audio playing in the app once the app is closed. But if you get this tweaked version here, you can do all that stuff again without having to need a Google Play subscription. So basically, they're you know pissing off a lot of people, but somehow they're still uh, they're still in the game. I give them another month, maybe two. Then of course we have hack games. So I'm sure that all the developers who worked super hard on these are not going to be that happy. So I'm pretty sure you got like Clash of Clans, you've got uh, Pokemon Go. So this Pokemon Go game will let you walk around freely 
without uh, having to actually travel ge like geographically. You can move around with your mouse as if uh, with with your thumb using a little joystick controller as if you're uh, you know actually walking around without needing to. So yeah, then you got the Sims and stuff like this. So yeah, they they put a ton of work into this. I'm sure that uh, there are going to be a lot of uh, people who are going to enjoy this and then it's going to get taken away because there's no way they're going to survive that long. Um, if you have any comments or questions or suggestions on this app or any app that you guys think are cool on it or if you uh, know something that we left out, please do share it in the comments with us. We'd love to have some more discussion about this. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you next time.